Well, g'day everyone. My name's Jeff McDonald. Uh, my role in council is the committee chair for the Environment and Community Committee. Council has contributed almost $570,000 to 128 community organisations across its community support grant programs. There's been almost 2,700 people attend 19 regional older people's programs. 201 youth programs were delivered with a total attendance of just over 12,700 young people. There's been 203 multicultural programs delivered with a total attendance of close to 18,000 people and almost 390,000 people visited Council's aquatic facilities. Highfields Cultural Centre managed 716 events with a total attendance of close to 34,000 people. Council continues to showcase our region through a variety of festivals and events all throughout the year and right across our region. Important anniversary and festivals we supported include Anzac Day ceremonies, Queensland Day celebrations, Australia Day and of course the Battle of Milne Bay anniversary. Our largest event, the Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers, continues to go from strength to strength and had a $25 million impact on the state and local economy. Carnival is the reigning Tourism Australia winner of the nation's best major festival or event. In 2016, close to 200,000 visitors enjoyed the Toowoomba Carnival of the Flowers, with some 17 official events and over 80 community events. From a property services portfolio perspective, Council is committed to preserving our beautiful buildings and also making sure our community is safe. Council is very much looking forward to the opening of the City Hall Auditorium and Annex Extension project in the Civic Square Precinct. Council also progressed the final design for our principal depot at Charlton. Toowoomba Railway Goodshed is another project that Council will be matching state government funding and looks forward to the upgrade of the heritage listed building finishing in the coming year. City Safe is obviously a key part of property services as well and we're looking at making sure that our technology is shifting from analogue to digital and that'll take place over the coming financial year as well. It's been my privilege and, and honour to be the Committee Chair of the Environment and Community and also the Portfolio Chair of Community Development, Facilities, Tourism and Property Services and certainly thank all the staff for their uh, untiring efforts to make sure that our community is well looked after in these areas and look forward to the coming financial year.